So, so this is my premonition, right? And I, and I, if you hear my son talk, is because he's he's trying to hit me with a sword right now. But this is my premonition. We was going up Bear Lake, right? Yeah. And Bear Lake, yeah. In Cal, in California, I was there yeah. with my with my family, and um, as we were going up this mountain, you know how we were going through like all of the fog and stuff. We started off, everything was smooth. It was clear. And we saw, like, it started getting dark. It wasn't, like, necessarily a storm or anything in front of us. But as we started to go up the side of the mountain, it got darker and darker. Like, it got dark quick on us, right? And we're on the side of this cliff, and to the right of us, it's this huge drop-off. And we, and we both, you look, and you kind of shut it away, and I didn't buy just like anybody else would because it's super scary, right? You look down the side of the mountain, like, oh, shit, it's scary over there. And I'm like, okay, let's drive. And we're going up the side of this mountain. And next thing you know, what happens? We hit fog. That wasn't fog, though. That, was, well, that wasn't fog. That, that was, was clouds. Like what well, that's what fog is. <laughs> fog is clouds, right? Something like that. We're not a well, we're meteorologist, right? But for, so we were going through this whole, like, foggy thing. We, we, I can barely see, like, 10 feet in front of us. Cars were honking behind Cars us. Cars honking behind us. They weren't us. honking, but they were ready to pass us. Some of them some were ready to pass us, right? They already passed it. No, so a few people did honk. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, you, we had cars coming at us, too. So it was like 18-wheelers coming at us. And we're in this dark. We're going upside this mountain. We know on one side that if we go veer out too far to the right, we could fall off the side of the cliff, off the side of the mountain. But we don't even know what's out there because we can't even see it. So the fear is in our mind that if we, if we go too far to the right, we could fall off. And then we got people coming at us that's like blinding us with like high beams and it's just a lot of distractions coming at us. And then you got the people that's behind us that are like blowing, they're on our back and stuff. And my mental fortitude at that time was to just focus on that line in the middle of the road, oh, right? Tell. And I was focused on that line. I was like, I gotta get up this mountain. I gotta get up this mountain. I got my my two boys in the back. I got my wife in the passenger seat, and I gotta get up the side of this mountain. No matter how long it took, and it took us like what every bit of forty five minutes. It's like the longest, windiest, twistiest, cloudiest, foggiest mountain I've ever climbed. And I don't climb too many mountains, especially in a car at nighttime. But when we got to the top, it was just like we all. Well, the boys, they were still, they were being boys. They're three and six, so they're jumping in the back like, who cares? It could have been Disney World inside the car for all we knew. But we got to the top of the mountain, and we're like, oh. I think we both had a sigh of relief. I think you had a sigh of relief because mm -hmm. you knew like how. Civilization. Civilization, and you knew I was, like, upset. Like, okay, we got to go with this mountain. And, you know, the next morning, you know, we got to the side of the mountain, and when I woke up that next morning, go uh, uh, we we go around the corner to where Big Bear Lake was. I had no idea there was a lake up there. And it was just the most beautiful thing in the world. Like we, we it was eight o'clock in the morning. It's crispy, frigidy cold out there. But I was you know I was up. We're I mean I'm up. Like okay, I'm ready to get get out. I'm ready to get out down the mountain. And then when I went out there on that lake, and I just saw how beautiful it was, and I was like, wow. Wow. This is the reason we came up. This is it. It was just beautiful. It was just like nature at its best. And, you know, we took some great pictures up there. But then, you know, I started thinking on the way down, we saw all those scenic views. I was like, you know what? Different people have different, and I'm gonna call it hills. And some people have mountains. Different people have different mountains or hills that they are willing to climb. Everybody's climbing towards something. Some people can't, they're not gonna climb as high as somebody else. But you gotta like look deep within yourself and say, hey, how high am I willing to go? How much am I willing to go through? Am I willing to go through the people who are coming at me crazy, turning on their hobbies? Am I willing to <laughs> deal with the people who 
I think that's got my in my I corner and behind my back point, who are gonna turn us around. It's gonna turn, gonna turn around, right? <laughs> any given point. But 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 the whole the whole the whole mental analogy of it is what are you willing to go through in life, in your career, as an entrepreneur, as whether it's your workouts, whether it's your spiritual journey, what are you willing to go through? Are you willing to go through the unknown? Whether not knowing whether you're going to fall off the edge or make it up the mountain or not, you got to be focused. Keep your eye on your line and not necessarily worry about what everybody else's line is to get all the way up. That's what I took from it. Everybody, this is Will Garner. I want to tell you to strive for your goal, reach for your goals, because no matter what you do, you got to have that vision for yourself. You got to believe in yourself, because your vision, your dreams, they can become your reality. Whatever you envision for yourself, you can make them come true for yourself. Remember, you're one flip away.